Hello, my friend. Last weekend, I was honored to present my new method, the RDCM, during the annual meeting of the Academy of Osseo Integration, new innovation session. And this is my presentation. Rabbit Digital Conversion Method, it's a novel approach to do a full arch screw retained implants conversion. What is conversion? A conversion is a transitional fixed implant supported prosthesis. It is a significant step that affects all of us who do full arches, and I believe it's time to have an open and honest discussion about it. When we look back at the literature and the various methods that are available to us today, we can tell that clinicians and companies are trying their best to improve the process and simplify it. We can tell that we're still in the evolution stage. And just to mention a few of those methods, we have denture conversion. Some clinicians are using stackable guided conversion. Some companies are coming up with a special scan body design to improve the accuracy of the scan. And a few clinicians are adding some fixed objects like fiduciary markers or screws in the palate to improve merging the scans process. And we know we have photogrammetry that we know it's accurate but has limitation when it comes to soft tissue, midline, incisal edge position and aesthetic. And there's my method. What distinguish my method is I'm scanning a model instead of attempting to scan intraorally. Scanning a model is known for being easier, more predictable. But the question is, how can I scan a model in occlusion? I like to refer to this study where they did a comparison between desktop scanner scanning a model, intraoral scanner, and the CBCT model scan. And during this study, the conclusion was a conventional impression and model casting. An optional digitalization using a desktop scanner remain the recommended workflow. For my method to work, I'm requesting to have an accurate model. So regardless if right after the surgical procedure or when the implants are ready to be restored, the process will remain the same. When I have an accurate model present, that model will have soft tissue information and implant position information. And that model has to be present next to the patient. What I need to collect from the patient, I need to collect the midline, the incisal edge position, and the proper video. And then I need to combine all this data in one file to be sent to the lab or to the designing surfaces. The first step now is I choose two implants in the anterior region and I connect them with resin. And I keep adding can resin to that connection until I achieve the proper video. When the proper stop is achieved in a CR relationship, I can mark a mid I can mark the midline on this device. And I'm calling this device ASA or anterior scanning appliance. Then I will start the scanning process. I will scan the opposing, I will scan the ASA with no scan for the soft tissue, and then I will scan the bite. And if I want to leave you with one thing today, I want to leave you with this. So pay attention to the next step, because this is where the trick is. The next step, I take the ASA out, install it on the model, 
And then I go back to the same scan, the same arch scan. Our scanners are a very powerful machine. They understand stitching. As soon as a scanner see the ASA, it will capture it and will continue the scanning process without knowing that it's scanning a model. The scanner think that we're still scanning the arch inside the patient mount. And that is how we are getting a model mounted perfectly in occlusion. Now what can be done? I can take the ASA out from the same model, install the scan body of my choice. Any scan body will work with this method. I can attach them the same model that has a base, has a soft tissue, enough lighting, no saliva, no bleeding, and I can prompt the scanner to give me an additional scan for the same arch. As soon as, see, as, as, soon as the scanner see the base and see the uh, soft tissue, it will scan the same model perfectly mounted in occlusion. But based on the study I just show at the beginning of this presentation, desktop scanner scanning a model is still the gold standard. So what we do is we take the same model with the same scan body position and I can collect one additional scan using the desktop scanner. And with the technology we have, with the power of the softwares we have, I can use some reference points to bring that scan and mount it perfectly in occlusion. And that's really all the data any designing lab need to start the designing process. He has the soft tissue information. He has the midline information. He has the scan body or the implant position information. He has the opposing arch mounted properly in occlusion. And just to simplify the process even more, we're going straight to the multi-unit abutment. Using the special screws that are available to us today, we're going straight to the multi-unit. That simplify the process of designing, simplify the process of production, and allow us to control the designing process to the best way possible. As soon as the design is done, I can send it to the printer or the milling machine. Another benefit of my method. As soon as the prototype is finished, I can the first step, I can verify it on the model I have. If the prototype has a passive fit, I can stain it and glaze it and deliver it in 5 to 10 minutes to my patient. The production process is tremendously easier. Adjustment is possible, modification is possible because we have the design already stored. And if the patient is happy with the prototype, it's very predictable and very easy process to replace the same design, reproduce it with the material of our choice. Monolithic zirconia in this case. Adding metal sleeve to compensate for any shrinkage in the zirconia is advantageous. Another method, another advantage for my method is I can verify my final on the model before I deliver it to the patient. And this is the end result that all of us are looking for.
With this slide, I'd like to finish with uh, this quote. Education is not the learning of facts. It's a training of the mind to think. With this, I would like to thank you for your attention. And I hope I will see you in the future. I'll be speaking in Dental XP on more cases or more ways of doing the same method. Until that time, I wish you the best of luck and we'll see you soon.